Hey there everybody, Nathan Nelson here. Welcome back to the channel. Now lately I've been diving into various forms of software that use AI in order to speed up my editing workflow. And one of the companies that a lot of people have reached out to me about is a company called Retouch For Me. And they keep asking whether or not I've used it in my editing workflow. And up until now, that answer has been no. But I'm not sure if Retouch For Me saw the comments on my videos or what it was, but they reached out to me recently and they said, hey, we think that our software would be a great addition to your workflow. Would you be interested in trying it out? And of course I said, yeah, I, I want to try that out for sure. Now, just to get out of the way, Retouch For Me is actually sponsoring this video, but they are seeing this video at the exact same time you are. I've been paid ahead of time. They haven't seen any of the video content that I've created. They've got no control over what I say, whether good or bad. They're simply paying for some time on this channel and helping so that I can keep creating content like this for you. So thank you to Retouch For Me for sponsoring this channel and making things like this possible. But with that being said, Let's jump in and I'll show you what this software is all about. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. I'm gonna run you through three retouching filters. And then at the end of this, I'm actually gonna show you a backdrop cleanup filter that they have, which actually just blows my mind. But the way Retouch For Me works is that you can choose different filters based on your editing workflow. You buy everything essentially a la carte rather than having to spend a whole bunch of money on a kind of suite of software where you might only use one, two or three things. With Retouch For Me, you can actually go through and choose each filter that you would use in your workflow so that you're not buying things that you're not going to use. Now for me, I picked up the Retouch For Me Heal, the Retouch For Me Dodge and Burn, and then the Retouch For Me Portrait Volumes. And I'm gonna run you through each of those to show you what they do and how easy it is to edit images using these filters. So now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our background layer here and we're going to copy it. Now, once it's copied, I'm going to select that background copy layer. I'm going to come up into my filters here and I'm going to do the retouch for me heal. Now, the reason that we create a background copy is so that this can create a separate layer so that we can work with the different layers individually. It's just a really clean and easy way to retouch images. Now it goes through, it's running its progress here. And once this finishes up, I'm just going to make sure that we've got this make mask clicked on. And then once we apply that, it's going to turn this layer into its own mask. There we go. And so if I toggle this off, you can see all of the different spots on this image that it actually went through and used the healing brush for and fixed versus just running a blur over top of the skin and losing all of this detail. This software actually goes in and actually heal brushes the different areas that it feels needs to be fixed in an image. And just, I mean, I'll just show you here real quick. Now, with the models I work with, there isn't often a whole lot of skin problems going on. It's no different for Cameron here, but there was just some areas where there was some acne in the skin, different things that were highlighted with my lighting. And so if I toggle this off and then on, you can see it actually goes through and just takes out all of those little imperfections in the skin. Now, if I come up to her forehead, same thing, turn it off, turn it on. It's not just blurring everything out. It's actually going through and heel brushing everything, which is just insane on how good of a job it does. It just takes out everything that's essentially an imperfection and leaves everything else. And it took a matter of seconds. So now that we've got this done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, take my background and I'm going to make another copy of that. Then we're going to come up into our filters here and we are going to run the retouch for me, dodge and burn. Now, what this is going to do is go through and just even out any of the areas on the skin from your highlights to your shadows that just aren't transitioning very smoothly. So areas around the eyes, around the mouth, different things that I would normally do while retouching with dodging and burning this is actually going to go through and just do automatically, which again is just how well it works is actually a little bit mind boggling to me and how quick it is, is unreal. So again, we're going to make sure that this checkbox is clicked, but it says soft light layer on this one. So I'm going to show you what that means. So we're going to click apply on this and I'm going to turn off my healing here. And now you can see we've got this gray layer. 
and you can see all the different areas where it's done dodging and then all the darker areas where it's done burning. So it's going through and it's finding all of these different areas in the skin that it feels needs to be lightened or darkened and doing that. And just to show you what that looks like. So as I said before, it said soft light layer. So we're just gonna come up into our layers here and we're just gonna click on soft light. And once we do that, everything looks exactly as it should. But if I toggle this off and on, you can see different areas here, inner cheek, inner side of her mouth, different things like that, where it's just smoothed everything out so quickly and so cleanly. And then if I turn my healing layer back on, everything just disappears and it's just, I mean, it does exactly what I would do if I was dodging and burning. Now, there's one more piece to this puzzle that kind of ties it all together. So again, we're going to make another background copy. Then I'm going to come up into my filters here and I'm going to click on the retouch for me portrait volume. Now with this, what it's actually going to do is it's going to go in and create that contour. It's gonna essentially take over the entire image and just add in dodging and burning in different areas instead of being a, a fixed dodge and burn, it's gonna be more of a global dodge and burn. And again, just something that I often do or typically do in my retouching. So again, I'm gonna click onto this soft light layer to make sure it adds itself as its own layer. And then we're going to apply that. And as you can see here, so if I turn on my, turn off my healing layer, now we've gone in and you can see all the contouring it's done in the nose, in the uh, jawline, in the cheekbones, up in the forehead. If we come out in full body, you can see everywhere on the arms, it's done just all of this really intense dodging and burning in a matter of seconds. So I'm going to again, take this and just come down to my soft light. Click that on. I'll turn on my healing layer again. And then if I toggle this off and on, you can just see how quickly it went in and <laughs> just contoured everything, just made everything. So there's the off, on. And again, adding this to its own layer, if you feel like it's a little bit heavy handed, you can just come into the opacity here. We'll click on this and we'll dial it down to maybe like 75%. Yeah, that looks great. And then if we come down onto her arms, everything like that, you can see it's added on these little highlights and everything like that. It just, everything happened so quickly and everything it's on its own layer. So you can go through and you can manipulate it as needed. And I mean, that just ties everything together. So if we come in here and we do just a, I'll come up to her face here. We'll just do a quick before and after. So this is straight out of camera, retouched. Everything in a matter of seconds. And again, everything on its own layer. It just, it's hard for it to get any easier than that. All right, so now that we've seen how their retouching plugins work, I wanna take you through one more, which absolutely blew my mind. And that is the retouch for me, clean backdrop. So we're gonna jump back into Photoshop here. All right, so I have an image here where if we come in, you can see there's just so many marks on the box itself that the model was sitting on. If we come down onto the backdrop, there's all of these wheel marks from my stands. There's footprints, there's all types of stuff. It's essentially just, you know, a cleaning up of a backdrop type nightmare. But Retouch For Me came up with this amazing plugin that makes it just all come together in a matter of seconds. So. What we'll do is again, we'll just come into our background layer here and we're just going to make a copy of that. And then I'm going to come up into my filters and I'm going to click on the clean backdrop. Now, this is such a game changer and such a time saver for me, especially doing any type of like e-commerce work or anything like that, where we're doing a lot of full body, kind of full outfit things where people going on and on to the backdrop just tend to leave little footprints and things like that. Even if it's, you know, you're being as careful as you can and taping the bottoms of shoes and only stepping onto them at a certain point, it just inevitably that backdrop gets a little bit beat up. Now, this is an extreme example, which is why I'm using it to show you just kind of how good this software is. 
but just to run through this as a batch process to get rid of any footprints and things like that that are happening on a backdrop from a shoot i mean having to go through and manually remove all of them is such a nightmare this again just makes everything so much easier so it's run through the process i'm going to click on this make mask here and i'm going to click apply and it's just going to run through and do just a whole bunch of magic here so as you can see if i come up onto the box here if i go before and after it's just it's cleaned up so much of it if i come over to my backdrop here I mean, there's still some tears and stuff like that in the backdrop that it didn't pick up, but whatever, that's an easy fix. But if I come through all of these marks and, you know, lines from the wheels and everything like that, like they're all just, they're gone so quickly. And I mean, if I come over here and I click on the before and after here, again, all of these areas back here are all cleaned up now. Now I can see that it actually caught some of her legs. So again, making this on its own layer makes it cleaning this up super easy. So what we're gonna do here is we're just going to add a layer mask and then I'm going to turn off the bottom layer. And as you can see here, we've got these areas that are part of her skin that got caught up in this background uh, function. So We've got a white mask. We're just going to turn this to black. Going to grab my paintbrush and set my opacity to 100. And then I'm going to bring up my brush hardness a little bit. And we will just quickly paint this away. And then that way, it won't be on her leg. And I can see where it's kind of got her face a little bit here. There. That quick, that easy. And now if I come back down here and I toggle this on and off, now it's not affecting her leg at all. All of this area here is just, it's cleaned up and ready to go. Everything in the background here is clean. It just, it takes so much of the work out of the process. I mean, I, I, I don't know how they managed to make this thing recognize backdrops and still keep all of your shadows and everything like that and clean up everything else, but whatever magic it is doing, I am here for it. All right, so with that, if you guys are interested in checking out Retouch for me, there will be a link as well as a coupon code in the description below in case you're interested in purchasing this software. But with that, as always, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. All right.